I run at so many jams, MC. I hear how you doing. Welcome back to my let's play for Certified Royal. Last time round, well, we tried to still send the calling card, but we got information from the kitchen to say effectively wait until the last day. So we're gonna do that by expanding our confidence. Um, I think I bought the death rank up. I'm actually gonna do it again just in case I forgot to do it. What shall we do? What shall we do? Oh, I did that. Okay. So we're gonna see Haru again. We're, we're, we have to fill up uh, Haru's rank because we need to really get her now. So. Just need to wait until the day and I just will take ten punts until then. Thank you. Alright, I found a place that serves an especially rare type of coffee. Would you be interested in joining me there? Let's do it. Let's decide it. This particular restaurant is an expensive hotel buffet. Hopefully the coffee lives up to that reputation. Um. Did you remember how I mentioned before about how my newfound interest in coffee? Well, I decided to start studying the topic more seriously by going out to places like this. I've been keeping it a secret from my fiance though. You see, just a single cup of, dark, of the dark ivory coffee here costs roughly 6,000 yen. It must be amazing. Yes! I've heard it is. Apparently the beans they use are exceedingly rare. At the very least, we should try, before, try it before passing judgement. Well, shall we order? I'll be paying for your cup as well. Uh, cheers. Um, what? Oh, I get it. You're thanking me for treating you, right? <laughs> You're so funny. Anyway, it's only natural that I pay for you today. I invited you here after all. Ugh, sorry. Hmm, I'll hurt, I'll chase. Well, here we go. There's a faint bitterness beneath the strangely bellow flavour. This coffee is clearly distinct from the, from what Sojiro serves to the blanc. This is... It has a distinctly flavour and more of a pair with a mild flavour. This is undoubtedly delicious, yeah, I'd rather consider it coffee. Apparently it's brewed using beans gathered for elephant dung. I can taste the elephant. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologise for not disclosing that to you earlier. I thought you might find it hard to enjoy if you had known ahead of time. I was surprised to hear it first, but that's actually why I wanted to try it to begin with. Another rare type of coffee, Kopi Lowak, is gathered from the feces of a small cat called a civet. Interesting though, the flavour differs depending on what animal it's used originally consumed by. Speaking of cats, do you think Monochan would be able to... Uh, apparently, let's ask him is the right answer. <laughs> Perhaps they could be on the plugs so that you specially jank. This is wrong. Oh, but we need more to for operations, huh? We can't afford him to make him eat beans all day. Hmm. Coffee is super fine. Haru-chan. Huh? Takura-san. What a strange place for us to meet. It's not often I see people in your age at this luxurious buffet. And who is this? Oh, he's a friend from school. This is Takura-san, the new president of Hummer Foods. By the way, it looks like we'll have to be able to avoid litigation. We saw how we settled on decent terms. You don't need to worry. All about your shares, you should consider letting the company hold on to them for the time being. Sure, you have enough in your plea already, given everything that's happened to you. No. Well, I. I'm sorry to bring that up while you two are enjoying yourselves here. 
That's right, high fake scoring with Sigmarican. In these days, we need to reserve a waiting hall almost a year in advance if you don't get me. Sometimes it worries me how laid back you are, Harry Chan. But, right, we're in the process. Well, I should be heading back to the office now. Will you please allow me to pay your, for your drink? Uh, no, that's quite alright. And uh, about the chairs, I can handle them for now. I'm going to protect that switch for my father left for me. I understand. Please do sure to consider those. Well then, if you'll excuse me. <sighs> that was a lie. There's no way I can handle the responsibilities I have to deal with right now. I mean, I'm just an inexperienced high schooler, but I can't leave the company into Kurosan's hands. Hey, um, what do you think of him? I'm not really sure. You're so honest. But I agree. I really don't know whether or not I can trust him. <sighs> right now, the most prevalent rumor about the Kurosan is that he is pleased by my father's passing. I mean, he was certainly the most person who stood to benefit the most from it. It's hard to deny that fact. But he says he's trying to rebuild our company image. I can't tell if he really means it. You know, sometimes I wonder what life would be like if I didn't have money. If I was normal. Don't get me wrong, the company is definitely important, but it's nothing... It's often nothing more than a source of stress. Um. With you guys, though, I feel like I actually belong. That's why I'm going to work extra hard to reach our hardest hurt grip. Uh, hurry. Alright, well, we have Slip Talk of the Notification amidst a group of Shadow Seals. Alright. Try again. Um. Oh, and as for that Sugimara san, that's my fiance. He's been really charming me with presents lately. One that even left a bouquet of roses on my pillow. But he would have needed one of my servants to help him accomplish that, right? What a scary thought. What's worse, Takura-san has been hurrying us to get married after what happened to my father. He claims it's because of the profit the marriage would bring to the company. There has to be more to the situation than just that. Yes. Anyway, I'll look deeper into Takura-san. Perhaps he truly was pleased by my father's death. Maybe I should start by asking the employees who are trying to desperately to win my favour. Hmm? You haven't drank any more of your coffee. Aren't you gonna finish it? Goodbye! Well, goodbye. <laughs> oh, sorry about that awkwardness today. You took the time out of your schedule to hang out with me, but I had the update of my own drama. Let's get coffee together sometime. I'll let you know if I find another nice spot. It won't be that luxurious though. Lately I felt so suffocated, I don't know who to trust anymore. It was so reassuring to have someone like you, someone who listens. I'm going to do whatever I can to look for roots into Kurosan. I might come to you for help again if I find something. Well, see you later. Ah, you're back. Alright, so tonight, we're actually going to see somebody we haven't seen for a while. We're going to see, uh... Let's build up our rank with, uh... Yeah, yeah. Do I have? Getting. Yeah, this should be... Prevention is key. No way, man. It's very demolished. Alright. So, we've made some pro more progress with the ADP case. Sit down so I can tell you all about it. Yes! Please go ahead. Thing is, so I got all the members of the ADP together and gave them a big group apology. They didn't really 
believe what I was saying at first, but the truth of the matter settled in eventually. It's just... However, it seems like the members from the executive class are still brainwashed. I'm in talks with a lawyer right now, though. We're going to get refunds and outpatient care for all of them. I'm going to get back all the money I made from selling holy stones, too. It's less I can do to atone for the ignorance I showed back then. Bye. I want you to get... As a sign of gratitude for helping me see the truth. Hey! Maiden, I'm so happy to see you. What? Your code is sung. What are you all doing here? That apology you gave us was all made up, wasn't it? Somebody had to have forced you to say that stuff. I mean, oh, the chairman was obviously free and tell us the truth, please. No. Um. N none of it was made um. up. As for the chairman, I need you to listen to me. Everything he told you in those seminars was a lie. The promises of the great future, the power of the holy stones, the need for donations, all lies. Doesn't it seem strange that you kept asking money members for money even through times of financial stress? Yeah! Hmm. And beyond that, you guys would have known better than anyone where those donations were ending mm. up. Even I knew how horrible the ADP scheme was. So I had to come forward. No, that can't be true. You, are you the one who did this to our beautiful maiden? You don't understand. Shut your mouth. Uh. Please stop this. He has nothing to do with your situation. I'm the one who sold you those rocks. If you really get upset with anyone, it should be me for me. But maiden. Can't be happening. No, we must continue to place our trust in her. Please, man, cleanse us of her ministry. If you leave us now, we feel it to drown in sorrow. <sighs> Look, the only way you can change that is with your own convictions. Neither I nor the ones worth the stones will be able to help you. But then, how are we supposed to avoid our fate at misery? No, a curse is upon us. Maiden, please. <sighs> oh, will you shut your traps? You all need to simmer down and listen to what I have to say for once. Whether you're going to be miserable or, or not, that's all on your own damn shoulders. You need some divine power, Mumbo Jumbo, to be changing your feet. You call out strength in yourselves. Fortune telling can't hold a candle to honor as good as willpower. And heck, if the thing's bad now, you'll be all fine as long as you keep your heads up. Oh, um. Oh, I'm sorry about all that. All this stress cost me the last sense of my country dialect. But I stand by what I said. Nothing will ever change if all you do is rely on others. Take me, for example. I thought I was destined to live as a monster, but all up, I had the strength to reverse that fate. If you want to control your future, that's all you need. Strength. The only way forward is through the fortitude of your own heart. My heart? It might not be the easiest thing to accomplish at first. After all, your willpower has been constantly suppressed by all those seminars and donations. I'm partially to blame for that. That's why I did show you the light die and help you push on. Maiden. No, I'm not your maiden anymore. I'm just Chiaia Mifide, this fortune teller who guides fate. <sighs> I wonder if you could, uh, sound the others would be okay. I know how they feel though. They want to cling on to the holy stones just as I clung on to my role as the maiden. All any of us wanted to be was happy, to avoid our fates. It can be changed. Right, I did it, so I'm sure Yokota-san and the others will be able to do so as well. 
No matter how many times I try to try, I will talk them until they understand. And when they realize the difficult truth, I'll be there to help them recover. Back in my village, people called me a monster. Here they revered me as mean. Even though my heart continues to wonder, you somehow still the real me. Not the maiden, not a monster, just Chihaya. Thank you. As we have right now, fortune. By the way, has anyone told you you're a bit nosy? <laughs> I mean, normally someone wouldn't think to involve themselves such a strenuous old jail. So, um... It's actually something I've been wondering for a while now. Is fortune telling the only reason you came to see me? It, it's not, is it? Um... Why do you come here? As much as I think Chiaia is actually pretty cute, I'm sorry. I like having my fortune read. Oh, I see. Sorry. I suppose I was feeling just a bit self-conscious. But... but there's nothing better knowing that my readings help others. So please come here and have your fortune read as often as you like. After all, we're very joined in our quest to oppose fate. Well then. Anyway, I should be going. Until next time. Good night. Oh, it's me. I'm sorry for calling so soon. I know we just saw each other. Something I really need, wanted to tell you. You're the reason I was managed to talk to Yokotao-san and everyone. I plan on doing all I can to support everyone at ADP for a while. If you're in any trouble, please feel free to stop by for consultation any time. I'm planning on it. Great. Please, I want to help you carve your path for your future. As Chiana, Chiana Mifune, fortune teller and an emissary of fiat. Whoops, I said that this is a little too full of myself just then. Maybe I'm not a monster or a maiden. I'm just Chiaia. So if you're ever in trouble, remember you can always come to me, okay? Well, good night and sweet dreams. Yo! Hey, I've been waiting for you. You know what I'm getting at, right? We send the con card on the 18th to carry out the plan the next day. You're ready, aren't you? I've been ready. <laughs> Guess I didn't have to ask. You're reliable. But don't forget one thing. Let's have no regrets. This is our do or die situation. Can't afford to fail. Do you, want to, do you want to understand what we went over last time? Well... Ahem. Mr. Sammy, please come to the faculty office. What's this about? What could it be? Oh, make sure you study on your own while I go to the faculty office. What do you want to do? Alright, so we get free time. Let's read again. <laughs> What are your thoughts? Hmm. Ah. That's annoying. Honestly, that was all about nothing in the end. Let's resume the lesson. Yep. That's close. 
how can we help this guy get chocolate free time though? I mean, that's going for a day now, but. Hey! Alright, so we're actually gonna go to. Do you like the rain? Looks like it's raining today. If you're feeling dry, it's probably the weather's fault. Do you have time right now? Can I talk to you about this theory I've come up with? Hmm. Something might. Sounds great. I'm glad to hear that. Come on in, take a seat, tell me the details. Thank you. Thanks for coming. So today I'd like to start off with our usual topic. Not. I had you going there, didn't I? <laughs> You're in for a real treat. I know it's been a while since I had one too. What do you mean? Good question. I recently found this delicious buffet looking buffet. Part is very well regarded, all sorts of cuisines. Well, if I your input in making some real progress on my paper. I'd like to take you to that buffet. That's my way of thanking you. How's that sound? Ooh, really? Of course. Honestly, I feel like this wasn't, won't even cover why I owe you after all you've done for me. Well, that settles it then. Okay, let's go. We should have an hour before they get too busy. Now. Alright, this is all me today. No holding back. Eat as much as you please. Thanks for the food. Mm hmm. Dig in. Maybe I went a bit overboard for my first trip. <laughs> Alright, sorry, would you mind if I asked you about something before we eat? It's about my paper. Huh? Hmm. Chibiwasa? Huh? Maruki? Huh? And you it's Shibuasa in the flesh. What are you doing here? That's my line. It's fair to see you in a restaurant like this one. Oh, and who might you be? Oh, he's, uh, how do I put it? We made a deal. A deal? Not wearing anything and shitty, is it? <laughs> no, not at all. Anyway, this is good through. Nice to meet you. I'm Shibuasa. Shibuasa was one of my colleagues back in college. He's the one who recommended I pursue a counseling career. And I hear it's been doing you some good too. I catch wind of your goings on every so often. Honestly, it's a big relief. You have so much more compassion than most, but you can be a bit too carefree. <sighs> You don't have to mention that part, not that I can refute it. But anyway, tell me more about how you've been. Fill me on this guy too. Huh? Aren't here with others? What about them? Yeah, that's fine, we just have to swing by here. I don't mind me being away for a bit. And you think you two are really going to be able to tackle all that fit on your own? That's... What? Oh, right. Sir, shouldn't it shouldn't can be. Different than not. They've been on the news an awful lot this year. And that's where you're counselling now? Yeah, but only part time. So what are you doing out at a place like this? This is some kind of private counselling session, right? He's well, he's been giving a hand with my research. 
Thanks for having me here as a thank you for all his help. Research. Uh, the, I had to mention this earlier, but my paper is almost finally finished. Congratulations. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's all fine to see you, though. Paper. The one you're doing research for. You mean you're still? Yep, I'm still at it. Even after all that went down. Remember I told you that I'd finish this paper how, no matter how long it took me? Murky. Haha, <laughs> you blow my mind sometimes. I swear you got the most stubborn man in the world. Hmm. Is that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> and anyway, it's not 100% complete yet. I haven't begun the peer review process. Oh, seriously? I'd be more than happy to review it for you. I mean, I did perform all the peer reviews for your publications in college. Huh? Really? Of course, man. Why not? In fact, this, that's it. This is now officially a celebration. The real one me today. I like it that. I'm supposed to be treating him today. I don't worry too much. Do you know what you want to encourage to him too? I sure do. See, he's up for it too. <laughs> I, I do appreciate it. I have to say, I have mixed feelings about this. No, oh, don't sweat the details. Let's go for a second round. We've got to head out of the meat section. And the vegetables. And the beans. Oh, God. <laughs> that was great. Phew. What a feast. I think I've hit my cal cal caloric, caloric intake for the entire week. Yeah. Man, I'm going to get an earful for piling on the pounds. By who? My girlfriend. Well, my fiance to be more exact. I'm getting married soon. Ah, I see. Huh? We're married? Yep, married. I'm the only one left from school who's still falling solo. I know how that feels. <laughs> Sorry to pry, but I feel I need to ask, are you still... Actually, forget I said anything. You're going to ask about Rumi, right? Don't worry, it's fine. Is she a girlfriend of yours? Yeah, former girlfriend to be precise. Well, uh... Well, I just do find this at the time, and we broke up at the end. Hold on! It's not like it's a tragedy or anything, no, she's totally happy now. It's just that I don't feel ready to enter a modern relationship of that sort right now. Again, mood. <laughs> this is supposed to be a celebration, yet I've already killed the mood. Sorry about that. No, no. It's my bad for bringing it up in the first place. Why don't we wrap up things here? I have to say, it's really good to see you doing well. And if your paper always finished too. Hey, keep that on this guy for me, alright? It's pretty rare to see him open up to, to someone he ha like he has with you. We're talking about really, it's some some kid. But I need my ex to express my appreciation properly. Thank you. Thank you so much for making me, someone like me, make your dream come true. As we have, rank it. All right. Well, should we get going? Don't forget to save that paper, okay? I seriously going to review it for you. Haha, <laughs> I won't. I'll be in touch soon. Be careful, okay? Perhaps we're spending some time with me. Be sure you're careful on your way home. Hey, it's me. I was supposed to treat you out today, huh? Sorry if I didn't go as planned. Chiba Was has always been quick to offer his help. Well, I mean, it's because he knows I'm a little careless, though. 
He's a good friend. That's true. He's actually helped me out a lot. Running into Stupid Wasa was quite a coincidence, but a very lucky one. Here's the best in the department when it comes to peer reviews. Maybe you're bringing me good luck with him too. Maybe I'm doing too much magical thinking. Well, see you later. There's still some history for the Funk Thieves. This isn't even news anymore. I don't care about politics. Just arrest the Funk Thieves already. Can't trust these incompetent politicians to do anything. Ah, hmm. you're back. Alright, we're gonna quickly buy a book. That's incredible. Welcome. Yeah. And then we're going to get another affinity reading. Again, we're gonna go with uh, the Kemi. Here we go. What do you think? I'm not really see. Uh, What's his name? I heard. Really First. This is weird. Hi there. <laughs> so cool. Hey. Such a mischievous. The final face was supposed to be the embodiment of justice. How did it come to this? No, there's no point sitting around complaining about it now. Should we all turn the tide if you keep changing to the hearts of horrible criminals? Oh, and I'll do whatever I can to help you guys out. For some reason, I can't forget what the what I Kamakun said to me. I've been wanting to talk to you about something. Are you free? Dip. Let's want to relax for a bit. Let's head over to the park. You know, I've been thinking about what Akiya Makun said to me. How I've changed. For some reason, I couldn't bring myself to run away back when I saved him. So, I was thinking why that may have been. Did you find your answer? Honestly, I was pretty desperate at the time, so I don't remember much. But in the back of my head, I was thinking what you would do in that situation. I mean, you put yourself on the line to stop Kamoshida, and probably other villains too. So, I thought there had to be something I could do myself. Wouldn't be. Fear is the real final boss. <laughs> it is. You know, I've always wanted to change. I wanted to go from the dull nobody everyone messes with to the famous world renowned hero. But you helped me realize something important. Heroes aren't heroes because they're famous, it's because they fight for other people. Looking back on it, what I really wanted to change was the weak me. The me on the volleyball team who let wrongdoing go unpunished. 
even though I knew it was unjust. The cowardly me who looked the other way when people I knew were in need of help. Tell me the truth. I only changed because you stole my heart, right? You changed yourself. Huh? So the Phantom Thieves didn't make me have a change of heart? Really? Huh. But you know what? It's still thanks to you that I was able to change. All this time, I've been looking up to the Phantom Thieves, pretending to be a collaborator. And now, I'm finally able to stop pretending. Truth be told, I had given up. I accepted that I was a zero, that my existence was meaningless. But I've learned. I may not be able to change the world, but I can change myself. Whether I sulk about my inability to do anything, or hold my head high and look to the future, my perception shapes the boundaries of my world. It all comes down to what's inside my heart. I might still mess up every so often, but as long as you're here, I'll be able to stand up again. So, I may not be the best person around, but you can feel free to rely on me at least <laughs> sometimes. And no matter what the world says, I'll be rooting for you, just like you were for me. Blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the moon, granting thee infinite power. As we get rank 10 moon, we have Salvation Wish. Allies back up members to receive XP as party members. All right. All right. I mean, I've used sand, sand, sand -fon. I think that's how you pronounce that. You know I don't what? Know. I'm going to find you an awesome request. That's all I can really do for you right now. But I'm working on that documentary too. I even plan on making it into a book someday. I bet anyone who reads about the Phantom Thieves would find the hidden courage within themselves. Maybe that means I can use that book to change people's hearts. I'm sure you will. All right, I'm on it. Oh, but before that, Grab a bite to eat on the way home. Maybe a buffet? Wait, no. We should save that for after I get all my book royalties. <laughs> you better be looking forward to it. Oh! Oh! 
You check all attack combinations. In addition to secular cases, you use confused, gun, wind, fear, ice. Forget electricity, rage, fire, despair, curse, bloom, rush, bless. Sounds pretty useful. Today we're going over. Now then, please open your textbooks. Today we're learning about trigonomic functions. No, tri trigonometric functions. Sine, cosine, and tangent. This is where a lot of people aren't able to keep up. Why would you panic just from seeing a graph? I don't get it. A company photo gets condensed down to a single line. Isn't that simple and elegant? All of them have distinct shapes and segregate imagination. Now then, take a look at these graphs. Give me an answer. That's not that. That's not a graph. That's just circles. <laughs> Do you know the name for this graph? Your hint is snails. And apparently, it's cochleod, or however you pronounce this. Precisely. Correct. Do you feel it looks like a little bit like a snail shell? There are many other graphs of amusing names. For example, Devil's Curve is called that because it looks like a Chinese yo-yo called the Diablo. There's nothing particularly diabolical about it otherwise. Oh, oh god. Advanced math. People may think math is an enemy of the devil. But there's research that suggests that people who excel at math have higher incomes. So if you're shooting for a high salary sometimes, you'll be able to fight demons. <sighs> also, I feel like fighting demons would be easier than trying to understand graphs like that. Thank you, Morgana. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Would you mind if I joined you for lunch? Hello. Thank you. All right, let's head to the roof. It's starting to get rather cold, isn't it? Sorry to bring you here. This is something I oughtn't really bring up around other people. Senpai, are you still planning to continue on as the Phantom Thieves? What do you ask? Lately, I haven't been hearing any positive gossip about the Phantom Thieves. Despite how much people cheered on your cause, even though they knew nothing about you or your friends, all they do now is speak ill of the Phantom Thieves. I know it's not my place to say this, considering I turned down your offer to join and all. But this change in attitude is simply awful. They're doing the exact same thing to you all that they did to me. Yet, you're still going to keep at it? Why, senpai? There's unfinished business. Unfinished business? So, there's something left you have to do. Yeah. But don't worry about us. There isn't even a one in a million chance that my Phantom Thieves could ever lose. <laughs> You're fun face, Morgana. Well, I won't stop you. However, could I ask a favor? Or rather, could you promise me something? Once things settle down, I'd like you to join me somewhere so we can go have some fun together. Yes, absolutely. I promise. Then it's a deal. 
I'm already beginning to look forward to it. So, please be careful out there. Oh, but I plan to keep my other promise I made with you about the physical training. Tomorrow. Is that too sudden? Maybe we should train the day after tomorrow then? Uh, but that day's when... Maybe another time. Hmm. I see. Hmm. Oh, I haven't eaten yet! Come on, Senpai. You need to eat, too. No one wins a fight on an empty stomach, you know. She's right. Hey. Alright, so uh, we're gonna see Murky again today. Hello. My time's almost up, so we won't be able to talk this anymore. I hope you another day, my favorite is coming to an end, it's all thanks to you. So, if you want to stop by, don't take too much of your time. Mm. Yeah, let's do it. Thank you. Thank you. Just step right in, I've got some snacks and drinks ready. Thank you. Thanks for coming. You see... There's actually something I wanted to talk to you about. I know this is a little personal, but... You remember how my former girlfriend came up the other day? Rumi. Yeah. We were even engaged, if you can believe that. She was so cheerful. I mean, she can get pretty aggressive. She's always kind of hot-headed, but always so kind too. She was the best thing that ever happened to me. I didn't deserve her, but if we had our shot, my life would have been so much happier than it had ever had been. I I know this <laughs> feeling. I absolutely know this feeling. But reality is never that simple. A burglar broke into her family's home. Rumi and I had been visiting. We were there just to see what he'd done to them. It was just bad luck. But it didn't end there. He must have been desperate to escape. He attacked Rumi on his way out. I was right there with her, and I couldn't do anything, right? Pathetic. We were lucky Rumi's injuries weren't more severe. Her physical ones, at least. But the shock of the incident was too much. She had a mental breakdown. Huh. We talked about that, right? How wounds of the heart aren't straightforward as physical ones? She never really recovered from what happened, even after all this time. I kind of lost myself in that pain for a while too. Why? She didn't deserve that. None of them did. None of them did anything wrong. I... I'm sorry. Sorry. When I saw her in that hospital bed, I made a vow. I swear I could do I would do all I could to fight back against the unfairness of reality. If someone suffered like that, I'd help. Like I said before, Ruby's in a better mental place now. She's happy. But that pain I felt back then, that's how I, this project was born. And thanks to you, I finally found the truth of the world of that research too. I don't care how long it takes me, I'll make my dream come true. <laughs> what is your dream? For your roommate's sake, of course, but for you too. I honestly don't have the words to say what all this means to me, but I can only say this. Thank you so much for everything. Thanks to you, I find my answer. And once it's ready, I hope you'll let me use it to help find the happiness you deserve. My path is clear now. I think this is probably the last time I come to you about the paper. Can I 
kind of sad. I know how you feel. It meant a lot to me too. I'll let you know when I finally finish that paper. When I do, I'll have to thank you one last time. You helped me see my dream through. Thank you so much. No. But for now, she'll have pulled my end of the deal. Oh, a really special one for you today. I think you're ready for something on another level now. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, we got Detox DX. Reason to shut the Detox X succeed. Alright. Also, there's one more thing I want to tell you, but I'll save it until I finish my paper. I just hope you can forgive me for it. Uh, sorry. Oh, uh, don't mind me. Sorry, that came out way too ominous. All right. Well, see you. Tomorrow's the day. When she said in that calling card, there's no turning back. Make sure you finish preparations tonight. Alright. We're actually going to go to... Outside. to uh, the velvet room. Why? Because remember the strength frank? Yeah, I didn't. Hey, inmate! We're actually going to do some of it now. What do you need to get? You certainly seem composed. Time for finished for You'd like to read the com- These are the paths you have walked. So, for this one we need- Oh, I don't have that. Okay. Oh. Bear. You'll withdraw this for this is your power. A fee is required. Then accept this persona. Time for some. Let's exit. Now choose. Do you really need this? Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Receive extraordinary my. Alright, so we have that. So I need a bear if now. Finished for now. Justine, you read here. Draw this persona and accept this persona. 
The inmate. Let's execution. Will this truly help you? Select the skills you'd like to inherit. It will receive extra now for a rebirth. And we got it. Finished? Are you finished? What? What? Huh. Hmm? It would seem... <laughs> Very well. It is commendable that you've chosen to work so diligently towards your rehabilitation. Huh. Hmm. I guess you still got... At least got the will to work. Of course. The greatest smug, smug attitude. This is your GM, mate. <sighs> that said, you've completed the task surprisingly easy. Yeah. It might actually be worth our time after all. Tell us next task. It's on that list, correct? Indeed. I'll send your next task. Be aware of the task is this. Is well, increase the difficulty as we go. Are you prepared? Of course. <laughs> Hi, Admiral. Once again, we would like to bestow a new privilege upon you. However, it's exceedingly powerful. We ask that you fulfill another task before receiving it. Huh. Life's not gonna just hang you your success. Farewell. I'll send you your next task. Now. Hey. Right, so we need a florist with a tar kaja. <coughs> but here's the advantage of this. As you can see, no time passed during this. So technically, we can do all of this in one go. And we're probably going to do that in the next episode. So, next time on Persona 5 Royal, we're going to just build up our strength confidant, probably all the way to the max. So, that being said, if you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to give it a like, and also don't forget to subscribe to become part of my community where it's been fun and positive for all. So, that being said, I will, of course, see